This video is for the impatient among us. It will show you how to start using RCS64 version 2 as quickly as possible. It assumes that you've followed the instructions in the videos, downloading RCS64 and updating C7042 Advanced Powerbase, and that you do not have any ancillary devices such as Smart Sense or Scorpius which you wish to use. Start by turning on your C7042 Advanced Powerbase. Then open up RCS64. The connected light should light and a COM port number should be visible above it. If you happen to load RCS before you have started the APB, simply click on the Search Connected Devices button and the connected light will light. Click on the Race Management tab and then the Controller tab. Green light shows which controllers are connected to the APB and are therefore available for use. Click on the controller type drop down uh, menu and enable the controller you wish to use by selecting the SSD controller option. Click on the single event tab. and select practice by clicking on the black square. Choose either lap or time. And enter a value in the box. You will notice that a green light is lit next to the controller that you have chosen to use. Next, click on the start event button. This will take you to the race start screen. Click on the program car button. Place the car you wish to drive on the track. Select the controller you wish to program the car to and click on done. Click on the start button and your practice session will start. <laughs> Fastest lap. Fastest, Fastest lap. lap. When your practice session ends, the results of the practice session will appear. To do another session, close the results page by clicking OK and well done, well done. click on the start event button. Again, now that you have satisfied your desire to use RCS, it's time to learn more. Either watch the other videos or you could even read the manual. 